Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, why do we high-five, shake hands, and fist bump? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. Shaking hands is one of those things that, like applause, is so normalized that you rarely think to question it. But on the face of it, clasping a stranger's hand and pumping it up and down a couple times is a pretty weird thing to do. So why do we do it? Isn't it some ancient way of showing the other person that you're not carrying a shank? This is certainly one theory, and one that makes sense, given that the earliest depictions we have of people shaking hands are from as far back as 4 BC, in ancient Greece. Throughout much of human history, showing that you aren't holding a sword, and in turn demanding the other person does the same, would have been a very sensible idea. But there are other theories too. Research from the Wiseman Institute of Science in Israel, for example, suggests that one effect of a handshake is to transfer chemical signals between the two participants. How does that work? According to the research, many people unconsciously sniff their hands shortly after a handshake. The scientists involved believe that, again, unconsciously, this is one way that our brains read the other person. In some cultures, in fact, this isn't even done surreptitiously. In places such as rural areas of Mongolia, it's actually customary to sniff your hand after shaking as part of the ritual. Well, now I never want to shake hands again. How about fist bumps? Can I still do those? They're certainly more hygienic. Research suggests that, due to the small amount of skin that actually touches, and the small amount of time it's touching, fist bumps are the method of greeting least likely to transfer germs between hands. In terms of where it originated, there are a few theories. Two of the most compelling are that it started as far back as the early 20th century with boxers who would tap their gloves together in greeting, or that it began during the Vietnam War as a sort of covert version of the Black Power Salute, which American soldiers at the time were banned from using. What about the high five? Where did that come from? It might sound weird now, but until the mid-1970s, it was actually the low five that was the predominant greeting. By 1980, however, the high five had already become such a cultural force that it was added to the Oxford English Dictionary that year. As for why the low five was replaced by the high five, it's almost impossible to say for sure, although most people agree that it probably originated in professional sports. The two most likely candidates are either Glenn Burke and Dusty Baker of the LA Dodgers, or the Louisville Cardinals during the 78-79 season, but we'll never know with 100% certainty. Well, I can't decide which hand gesture I like best, so here, I'll just settle for giving you the finger. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.